Welcome to the Landscape Library's YouTube channel. I'm Jordan, founder of the Landscape Library and voice behind the tutorials. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and visit our website, thelandscapelibrary.com, to read landscape-focused articles or enroll in our online courses teaching the top softwares for landscape design. If you have questions or comments, add them below and enjoy the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the command planar surface in Rhino. And planar surface is essentially just creating a surface based off of 2D curves. So for example, if we are going um, and we are sticking to the method of designing landscapes in 2D first, because that is the fastest way to design them, focusing on 3D later, if we had a series of, say, our circles and squares, and let's say we had an irregular shape of a polyline, and we had our interbrick curve polyline. Remember, O snap should be turned on. That way, we're snapping to the endpoint, and all of these surfaces or all of these lines are enclosed, or else this command would not work. So, now that we have all these different types of enclosed surfaces, I'm going to use the command planar surface. It's going to ask to select the curves to build a surface. Now, if you look at objects, um, in the real world, technically everything has a surface, whether it's a solid piece of wood, um, either side of that wood has a surface. Um, it doesn't have to be flat like wood. If you look at maybe glasses or headphones, um, pillows, that's a curved surface. So everything has a surface and that can be technically modeled in Rhino. So we're going to want to select the curve to build the surface. And once the curve is selected, you can press enter and you can see that the top view here is still in wireframe. We could change it to shaded. Um, in perspective view, you can see that there is the surface because it is shaded that color. Everything else is in um, obviously a curve because it's not shaded. And we can do the same thing for all the other ones. You can select multiple surfaces at once right click and now they are surfaces um, and this in later tutorials I'm going to show you how to build these surfaces up sideways down um, so that is the command planar surface now I want you to also remember that all of the commands in the 2d section can be used to manipulate some of these surfaces for instance let's say we wanted to offset the exterior boundary line now, if you were watching the videos in just a few videos of ago, um, control and shift, or for a Mac, uh, function and shift, you can select individual line work. For instance, if I wanted to re if I wanted to select line work that has now been disappeared, I can hold those two buttons, control shift or function shift, select the line. You can see that curve appears. Um, now, I could copy this in place if I just type in copy. And then up here on the corner, it'll say if you want to copy it in place, I'll type I to copy it in place. And now that line is um, in Rhino. And let's say I wanted to offset that curve uh, four feet. And I wanted this interior section to be deleted. Maybe this is a, um, a walking path around a track. Who knows? So I'm going to select this internal curve and I'm going to use trim and we can select the internal point here um, in inside to just now have this sort of um, outside of a Pringle shape and like I said you can create um, if you wanted to control shift select the surface edge not the curve the surface edge those are two different things so right now a curve is just registering anything in Rhino as just like a, obviously a curve and the surface is let's say if we wanted to select the surface edge and use the gumball up you'll see that now it becomes sort of this nice saucer shape so you can do that with all of the objects um, even like you know if we wanted to take a chunk out of this object here we'll select the square type trim we could carve out an area and um, we can also select individual surfaces with these three different surfaces bring them up now this is sort of uh, also just like incline 
So that is how you use planar surface. And we're going to go into, in the next tutorials, we're going to go into how to extrude these surfaces up and start to build volumes and 3D models in Rhino.